Yo, what is up guys, it is Josh back with another video on the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can make the best possible build ups for your Fortnite highlights videos in all three softwares, Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, and DaVinci Resolve. But with that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. A lot of you guys watch my videos, about 70% aren't subscribed, so make sure to drop a sub, it's 100% free for you guys to do, and you can change your mind at a later date. All the presets and links will be down below in the description as well as the timestamps if you want to skip ahead to a specific editing software, and I hope this video helps you guys out. I'll see you guys on my PC. All right, guys, so the first editing software I'm going to be showing for this video is actually DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just start up a new project, called it Best Buildups, and then I'm going to go into the Edit tab, go up here to File, go to Project Settings, make sure all this is set to 1920 by 1080, sorry, uh, by 6, or by, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but 60 FPS, 1920 by 1080, the standard resolution, and all we're going to do is just we're going to get a random clip. So, for example, I'm just going to find a random clip by the boy Plux. I'll have uh, Plux's socials down below if you want to go check out one of his clip packs. He's got some really, really, really good, uh, clean, you know, mongrel classics, all that stuff. But pretty much right here, I'll just show you right here. We're not going to do music or anything just because it's a pretty basic tutorial that I'm going to be showing. All we're going to do is we're going to find the frame that we get the kill or get the uh, the pellet, sorry. I'm going to shorten it down a bit just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink the clips, go into our retime curve, and then I'm just going to uncheck the retime frame, make sure retime speed selected, add a keyframe on the kill. I'm going to go seven frames back for the velocity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like this. This can go up to 300%. One, two, three, keyframe. Drag this up to 150. Just like that. And then drag this down to 60. Just like that. Select this, ease that, select this, ease that. Go here, drag that two frames over. And then just do this right here. And that's just our velocity, our main velocity for this. super clean just the main focus for this video is buildups uh so what i'm going to do for this is i'm going to count out 40 frames before this marker so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just like this and this might be a bit too much we're going to add a marker there just so we know that honestly should be fine so we're just going to drag an adjustment clip starting at this point and then we're going to end it on the kill. So just like this. So you could either, you you know, you can manually trim it down like this if you want. Or if you know you've had experience with DaVinci, you can press B on your keyboard to bring up your razor tool, cut it down like that. Or you could even press Control B on it and just cut it like that. Up to you. But we're actually going to go into the Fusion tab of this adjustment clip. And what we're going to do here is the three main components of this are going to be um monochrome vignette and then we're gonna have flicker so that's pretty much all i really use in my buildups for my own montages they're super clean uh, so for example we'll just press control space on our keyboard after selecting any area here you can literally just click in the gray space control on your keyboard and space at the exact same time and then we're gonna look up s underscore monochrome you will need the sapphire plugins for this obviously then you can look up vignette s underscore vignette and then we're going to look up S underscore flicker. And we have all three here. All we gotta do is just click on each of them, press shift on our keyboard and drag them in just like this. And we can see already, you know, we've kind of got this weird looking thing, but trust me, we're gonna tinker with the settings a bit just to make it look nicer. At the beginning, we're actually going to uh, press the keyframe button right here and change the mix with source to one. And we're gonna go about 15 frames in. So like this, and we're gonna change the mix to so mix with source to about 0.4 ish should be fine and then our vignette we're gonna do about the same thing so we're gonna change our radius so it's a bit further in so like 0.95 should be fine just like this 0.95 um, our opacity is let's make it 1.2 just like this so we're gonna go 15 frames in and we're gonna keyframe our opacity level at 1.2. We're gonna to go to the very beginning and keyframe our opacity at zero. So we can see that it slowly starts to come in. Just like that. Just, and then just like that, it does a little 
flicker. The flicker isn't too strong right now, but we're actually gonna mess with it. So at the very beginning keyframe, our flicker amplitude at zero. And then for this one, we're gonna go maybe 25 frames in just so it's not too harsh. We're gonna have the flicker amplitude set to 0.74, which is gonna be like a crazy value. I don't know why it didn't. So there. there we go, 0.74. So we can see what it's doing there. All right, and then lastly, uh, for I'm gonna have a S underscore shake preset in the description, but it is broken. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to manu manually change the values yourself. Go into the Fusion tab. We're gonna drag in the uh, Twitchy Build Up Shake preset. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go through all of these and just change the uh, values. So at the very beginning, we're gonna keyframe the amplitude at zero, and then go to the very end and change the uh, amplitude to 0.26. What that'll do, is it'll make it so the shake just like that super clean it's my main uh, build up shake like that and then we can see with the impact it's looking super nice okay but uh yeah so pretty much for i'm gonna quickly go go over it again monochrome very very nice for your montages because it adds a nice little faded tint kind of effect uh, vignette kind of adds a bit of a uh, old rustic kind of focuses on the middle of the frame and then flicker kind of adds a bit of a intensity to the buildup itself kind of making the viewer anticipate the kill uh, but with that being said i'm going to be moving on to after effects so i'll see you guys in there all right guys so i'm in after effects now all we're going to do is we're just going to find the clip we're going to be using so for me it's going to be just this mongrel classic clip we're going to press Control shift or uh, Control alt f sorry if your uh, clip is too big for the frame and then we're going to add a velocity so for me i'm going to add a slowdown velocity link to the uh, preset will be in the description by the way it'll be in the uh, google drive that i'll have down there it's just this uh, slowdown twixter velocity right here and we're just going to line up the second last keyframe with the kill perfect um, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add kind of just a random, I don't even know, let's just do a random impact that I have. Random impact right there, perfect. And then for the main thing that you came for is buildups. All we're going to do is just go to the first part where the flicker slows, or sorry, the flicker, the twixter slows down. So that is at 437, the kills at 504. So it's literally almost about um, 40 frames. Am I stupid? Am I stupid? Hey, Ross, sauce oh no, it's about 30 frames. I don't know what I'm saying right now. 30, se yeah, okay. Don't roast my math in the comments. I'm not exactly thinking right now, but uh, we're actually going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 frames before. So it is about 40 frames. And then we're going to add the following effects to this adjustment layer. So we're going to add S underscore vignette. We're going to add monochrome, S underscore monochrome, sorry. And then we're going to add S underscore flicker. So those are the three main things we're going to add. Just follow along with these settings. At the very beginning of this, we're actually going to change the radius of this to 0.95, or sorry, lower. So it's going to be 0.85, my, my mistake. Um, we're going to keyframe the opacity at the beginning at zero. Then we're going to go to this uh, frame. So 10 frames after, we're going to keyframe the opacity at one. We're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to move on to the monochrome. So we're going to keyframe the value of mix with source at one. Go 10 frames later, keyframe the value at 0.4. And then lastly for the flicker, we're going to actually start at this 10 frames point. We're going to keyframe the flicker amplitude at zero. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and keyframe the amplitude at 0.74. Just like that. I don't know why I just accidentally deleted it, but. With a song though, trust me, it'll look a lot better. Like if you add any song to that, you guys probably saw the sample in the intro, it looks a lot better. Um, and then lastly, I'll have a shake in the description for you guys to download as well. I can't be asked to recreate it or remake it. 
So I'm just literally gonna add it in right here and line up the second last keyframe just like this. But this is literally the shake I use for all my buildups. It is the cleanest thing on planet Earth and it just makes any buildup look automatically better. Another thing you can do, you can add an adjustment layer and just add a screen pump even. I'll even have that in the description because why not? It's literally the best screen pump impact um, kind of preset there is. I don't know why it's not wanting to drag in. Jeez Louise. Just like that. Super clean. The cleanest buildup of all buildups. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy that though. Kind of a quick tutorial for After Effects because it's just literally dragging things on and changing settings. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I hope you guys found an easy time doing that. If you guys have any questions, leave that down below in the description. And uh, we're going to be moving on to Premiere Pro now. All right, so I am in Premiere Pro now. All we're going to do is we're going to drag in the clip we're going to be using into the timeline media pool, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to drag it in here. Uh, go up to your sequence. Make sure your sequence settings are set to 60 FPS. And then I'm just going to uh, have my thing on 24 or 26 fifth. 2560 by 1440 I can't speak English right now sorry and then I'll have a velocity preset down below in the description for Premiere Pro if you guys want to download that all we got to do for that is go three frames back from the marker wherever we get the kill so go one two three frames back from there cut the clip wherever that is and then you're just going to navigate on over to uh, wherever you have my uh, velocity thing set to so we're just going to drag it on just like that you can see that you can do that if you want, or if you want, you can do my Twixter, and I highly recommend doing my Twixter for this because it's probably the cleanest. So that's what I'm actually gonna be using for this tutorial. We're gonna go 27 frames back. All you gotta do, quick math, is 46 minus 27, which is going to be 19, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna just cut it right here, and then we're gonna drag on the Twixter velocity. Look at that. Quick math, super clean velocity for your montage. And uh, I second guess myself so many times there. I don't want to talk about it. I thought I was wrong, but it turns out we are good. Uh, all we got to do from there is just press V on our keyboard so we're not on the blade tool anymore. Select this, nest it, just like that. And uh, make sure we're on the kill just so we know where to actually add a marker again. So I'm just going to do like this. I'm going to add a marker here, sorry. And then what we're going to do is just we're going to add our impact. So just go one frame back. I'll have an impact in the uh, presets as well. We'll drag that on. So we just got that right there. Super clean impact. And then what we're going to do is we're going to nest it again. I know it sounds crazy, but it's now nested for like a third time. Uh, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to add some effects. So we're going to add a monochrome right here. We're going to add a S underscore monochrome. We are going to add a vignette, and that's underscore vignette. And then we are going to add a flicker, an S underscore flicker, sorry. So you'll need Sapphire plugins for your Premiere Pro. All we got to do for this, I don't know why this changed off normal, but that's, that's just the way it is. We're going to add a marker on our kill, just like this. We're going to go 40 frames back, so uh, 46 minus 40. You should be able to do that in your head. If you can't, I'm sorry for you. That is actually going to be 6. If you didn't if you weren't able to get it already so we're gonna go back add a marker to that point on the clip which is where we're gonna have all this starting we're going to actually set up our initial settings so on the 40 frames back point we are going to keyframe the mix with source on the monochrome to one we're going to go 10 frames in so to 16 for me we're gonna change this to 0.4 and then right at the kill we're going to keyframe it again at 0.4 go one frame after and keyframe it back to one all we got to do for the vignette is we're going to change the radius to like 0.85 just like that just whatever monochrome kind of whatever looks good with the monochrome for the vignette so for me I'm going to keyframe the opacity at zero on the marker point we're going to go 10 frames after keyframe the opacity at one go to the kill keyframe the opacity at one again one frame after keyframe the opacity at zero just make sure you just, just try to follow along with me i know it may seem uh, hard we're gonna go 10 frames after so we're just gonna start this time at the uh, 10 frame after point for the uh, flicker we're gonna keyframe the amplitude at zero at uh 30 frames before the kill 
and then we're gonna go 15 frames after that so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 we're gonna keyframe the amplitude at 0.74 for the flicker and it should just look like this oh sorry and then uh, we also got to keyframe the amplitude of the flicker on the kill at 0.74 go one frame after keyframe it at zero just like that and that is pretty much that done uh, I know it seemed kind of complicated but uh, trust me if you are able to do it well and execute it it will look very 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 cool then we're also gonna drag on our twitchy buildup shake and I don't know how hard it is to kind of perfect this I don't know how messed up it will be but yeah so the shake actually is for the kill so all we got to do if we want to add our preset is just cut it on the marker drag on the twitchy buildup shake like that if I'm not mistaken yeah it should just add on like that I don't know I'll have that in the uh, presets as well if you guys want to check that out and that's pretty much all you got to do monochrome vignette flicker and impact if you want to add a screen pump you can and then you add the twitchy buildup shake all that together equals pure madness for the cleanest impact possible for your Fortnite highlights if you guys want to rewind go back to this i don't blame you it was a lot to take in in such a short period of time hope you guys did have kind of an easy time with it though and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in a future video make sure to leave comments down below for recommendations for future tutorials and i will see you guys in a future video peace out